Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, citizens of all ages, welcome back to another edition of Star Citizen. So, um, I'm actually revisiting a uh, video that I'd done not too, too long ago, um, and more than one person has brought it to my attention that in terms of starter ships, there's more than just the Aurora. Go figure, right? <laughs> so I gotta admit, I was definitely being a little bit biased towards the starter ship that I chose, uh, being the Aurora line. Started with the MR, if you didn't know. Uh, got absolutely trounced any and everywhere I went. Found out about the LN, upgraded to that. And that was my first foray, yeah, foray into upgrading and CCUing and getting addicted to buying ships. And here I am today with more sh more ships than cents. <laughs> um, so, uh, as a request, sort of a request, I, he, uh, they didn't outright say, but they basically alluded uh, their request to do a starter ship uh, tips video with the Mustang. Now, I literally just bought this um and that's going to be the beta now the reason i bought the beta over the alpha uh there's a couple reasons one i kind of like this blue color more than like that purpley color that the alpha has um and secondly if you are unaware the beta is the explorer version and it actually has a living space on the inside. Now, this is the first time I'm ever seeing a uh, Mustang Beta, or at least in the capacity that I own it and can manipulate it. So I actually kind of want to take a quick look around it. So I see it's got the two size ones on that turret there. And I think... Yeah, oh my goodness. And only two more size one hard points so I guess to round it out let's throw some more m3a's on there that way we can at least have a single pip when I bring this out into the verse which I do plan on doing so for those of you uh, who may be looking into a starter ship if you don't have one yet you're waiting to pull the trigger on a star citizen uh, package this is the Mustang beta uh, this ship goes for about $40 uh, depending on your uh, geographical location. I know if you live like in the European areas there's like a 20% tax on it. Uh, so yours might be a little bit more expensive than what I paid but in U uh, United States dollars USD I paid $40. Now preparing for jump. Oh <laughs> Okay, so that uh, was my AI, Alex. Um, I have her turned on. Uh, giggity. Uh, I've got her turned on for when I do go into the verse, as uh, given the fact that I'm in a starter ship, I'm probably going to have a little bit of... Uh, it, it would be better if I'm able to manipulate my shields. So, let's hop into the cabin, or the back portion. This, holy shit! This is surprisingly roomy. Wow. I, you know, from the outside, it really it really doesn't seem like there's like this much space. And this opens. <laughs> hey, it's a toilet. That's cool. Hey, I can open and close it. Neato. Can I and I can enter the toilet. Life complete. All right, let's see, what's that? Warning, that must be like a microwave. That's cool. Ooh. <gasps> Get the fuck out. Look at that. <gasps> that is, that is cool. What? I can open more? Or is that a, oh, oh, oh. Get the fuck out. Wow! 
working shell. I never thought I would be so excited for shelves. <laughs> or drawers, I mean, not shelves, for drawers. That is cool. Oh, does only the bottom one open? Alright, well still, that's really cool. Look at that, it's all angled. That looks neat. Ooh, looks like there's a screen here. I can... What? Alright, hold on. First I see some buttons. Do these... Do anything? Oh, anything? No, maybe if I duck down and get close... Nada. Alright. I wonder if that screen does anything. Look at that! Okay, that is cool. Literally chilling. Uh, but my face is stuck. I can't look around. All right. So, what is moving? Sounds like there's something. Oh, oh, Jesus! Getting all messed up. Enter seat. Something is. Oh. I did it again. Sounds like there's something moving. Is it above me? It sounds like it's coming from my right. I've got stereoscopic uh, headphones on, and it really sounds like it's coming from the right-hand side somewhere. I'm trying to spin around, see if I can see anything opening, but no. Nope. All right. Um, anything else? That looks like it opens, but it looks like it's just the seat. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Oh, that opens. That is so cool. I'm not sure what I'd be able to store in there. Maybe a couple pairs of clothing, a couple different suits. Oh, that would be so cool if we could hang up some clothes in there. And then, of course, we've got the bed. And I'd hope the bed works. Yup. Wow, I'm actually kind of surprised like I'm actually kind of taken aback there's actually a lot of space in here at least a surprising amount Oh, I see. And this is like like a, a hub of sorts, and then you can go. Oh, oh, okay. Maybe I need to use that just to at least go into. Oh yeah, let's not stand up. Okay. And then other than that, it looks like it is just a normal Mustang. All right. So I think we should go into the verse and see how this baby performs and see if maybe I can give you some uh, starter tips and tricks as to what to do. So I'm going to do a really abrupt cut right about now. Okay, and we're back. Alrighty, so um, let's pull up la beta and see how we do. So, one thing in particular uh, that I would like to start out with, uh, in terms of uh, if you're just starting out or if you just have a starter ship and um, you're looking to also be as combat effective as you can, I would highly suggest uh, doing what you just saw where you add likewise weapons. Um, so, as you can see, I've got a quad loadout of the size 1 M3As. So now, these all four of these weapons should have the same pips. And basically what the pips is, if you are unaware, that's the uh, targeting reticle. By default, the targeting reticle is going to be... Uh, either a circle, a square, or a triangle, depending on the type of weapon that you have. And that is a rough estimate of uh, approximately where your rounds are, or your ordinance are going to hit, depending on the uh, type of weapon. 
So I would highly suggest, first and foremost, that you have likewise or incredibly similar weapons. Um, generally, if you just have, you know, two, three, four of the same one, uh, you're good. But if you want to have a mix of energy and ballistics, you're going to more than likely have uh, conflicting pips. So one is going to be, you know, probably a little bit ahead, one's a little bit behind. But that actually might be a positive in the PU as the latency is off a little bit. So if you do have pips that are a little forward and a little bit back, you get the ship right in the middle of those two, you're almost guaranteed the hit. Uh, and likewise, I do still have the AI here. Hi, Alex. Greetings. How are you? Okay. Good. Take off. Affirmative. 30 meters, you have the con. Landing modules Landing retracted. Request. Full speed. Move. Increasing velocity. Thrusters. Certainly. Map. Engaging jump drive. Make it so. Quantum As you map. wish. Engage. Now that is one of the reasons why I love this AI. I literally didn't touch a single button through that whole thing. So, um... First and foremost, uh, after you get the weapon situated, you then have to figure out, do you want to go gimbaled or locked? Gimbaled, which I think the um, stock weapons, we'll find out. Hold on, like I said, this is literally the first time that I got my hands on the ship. Yep. So, if you notice, the reticle that's moving around is gimbaled, whereas the other is um, fixed. So, what I do is I hold... Alt and then press J so that way I can have them all fixed because there's really no point in having half my loadout um, aiming at them. So as you can see, with me personally, I have better accuracy uh, trying to get the ship just in the center as opposed to trying to get my reticle. Um, it's a little bit easier just for me. You might have the opposite, so I would suggest playing around with that as well. Front shields! Front shields. So another thing you want to do is try to um, strafe and also go up and down. So hold, uh, hold or press control and or uh, space to ascend and descend. Especially if you're being shot at by a gladius, you can kind of see where the rounds are going a little bit better. Oh, Jesus. So I'm trying to um, be as hard to hit as possible. Another thing that's a little bit difficult with the beta is it does not have missiles, it seems. So I literally can only rely on my weapons and my prowess, or lack thereof, I should say. Another thing I would suggest is you want to try to keep the target... Oh, geez. Um, heading upward. So using those Q and E keys... So you can always keep them uh, heading up, so that way they'll fall into your shot. I found if they go down, it's a little bit harder to hit them, as I miss almost every shot. Um, keep in mind, I am explaining while firing, so that's that's why I'm doing so god awful. I'm usually better. Um, if you've got a Mustang Beta and you are looking to do exploration. Um, you're ahead of the curve. The Mustang Beta uh, actually has a pretty nice little interior. Surprising. It's definitely like a little camper. If I can hit this damn Gladius. My god. Uh, that's the other thing about these smaller ships that kind of sucks, is they do have a smaller cross section. So it's going to be harder to hit them. Um, Another another really good point is practice, practice, practice. I would actually suggest going into Vandal Swarm with uh, whatever ship that you have and doing your practice, uh, your combat practice there. Uh, given that the uh, Vandal ships don't have uh, side shielding, if you can land your shots on the sides. You will have uh, much success, as Borat would say. A great success, very nice. Um, and that's another good way to get your combat uh, proficiency up. Now, if you've noticed, 
in that fight, well, uh, I mean, I would say I took a decent amount of shots. Luckily, I did. I wouldn't say that I got lit the hell up, but I did not get out unscathed. Um, I'm not seeing any actual visible damage. However, my sensors are telling me otherwise. Now, if we look in the upper left corner of the screen, you can see that uh, it says my... Well, it doesn't say, but it dictates that the yellow portion of the ship is damaged. And the worst part about that is that's the cabin. Um, that is the bridge, the pilot seat area. So with that being damaged, I could be in a very precarious position. So what I want to do is head to Cryastro and go get repaired. In case you didn't know, Cryastro is where you would head to get uh, your ship repairs. Your, where you would rearm, you know, missiles, uh, ballistic ammunition, quantum fuel, uh, hydrogen fuel, all the goodies that you would need for your spacefaring venture. Um, conversely, for stopping by Cryastro, you're welcome. While our systems connect to your ship. No, tell me now. Our systems indicate your yeah, that's what I thought. Minor damage. Just a little. Would you like us to repair it? Well, yeah, that's what I'm here for. Um, okay, enough of the snarky comments. Um, shit, what was I saying? So basically, uh, you can go to Cryastro to, to get repairs, as well as refuel and rearm. Uh, but conversely, in the current build, which is 2.6.3, instead of going through and spending the money to do that, you could also just respawn the ship. Auto land. Auto land. Automated landing enabled. Oh, the Mustang doesn't have that? That sucks. Uh, so, like I was saying, conversely, in 2.63, I really just damaged my ship while landing? Launch complete. Landing request approved. Uh, it'll probably help if I put it to landing mode. So now I'm going to have to repair myself a lot more, but that's fine. So quantum fuel, pretty straightforward, is to do quantum jumping. Hydrogen fuel is your regular fuel for flying about. Now one of the good things about the beta, it has a big fuel tank. I mean, just a little bit of driving around I did, I didn't even spend any. Let's fix you up. <laughs> Piece of the ship just lying next to it. <coughs> so like I was stating, um... Let's get you in 2.63, which is the current uh, live build, not the test build, um, you can actually just respawn your ship um, instead of having to pay to get it repaired. I would actually suggest, um, well, realistically, you could do either or. Um, I would say maybe get into the habit of going to Cryastro, as with the Advent of 3.0, that's what we're going to have to do. But, in the same uh, thought, you may as well just respawn it to get it fresh, since that feature is going to be going away soon. So let's go back to 126. Let's try uh, a few more test uh, round, uh, uh, fights, and I'll try to give you my input. Uh, another good thing to uh, keep in mind is uh, your shielding. So, what is he? Oh yeah, no. I'm not even. No, in, in this thing, uh, that cutlass would spank me. I would, I would not be able to put a dent in it. And that's one of the reasons why I upgraded to the LN uh, and a comparable Mustang for the LN, or against the LN, would probably be the Delta, but in my opinion, I kind of think the Delta is a little bit better than the LN, in terms of fighting capabilities. In terms of overall, I kind of like the LN a little bit more because it does have that bed. You know, it is a fighter, but it has a bed built into it, and that's why I keep singing the praises of the LN. If you need a good starter ship, in my opinion, the LN is where it's at, because it can do cargo with the store all cargo pod. I don't remember the exact name, but I know it's something along those lines. Uh, you got the ability to fight, as it has the two size ones and the two size twos, and it's got a bed, so that way when 3.0 and the log off mechanic 
comes online, you're good. You don't have to go to a space station. You can just get up, go to the back of your your ship, and bing, bang, boom, you're all set. So let's go back and hope that the Cutlass doesn't show up. And if the Cutlass shows up, fuck it. I'll, t I'll go down swinging. Uh, another thing that I was going to say is your shielding. Now, by default, by default, the shielding manipulation buttons are, um, numpad 8 for the front. Oh, here we go. Number pad 8 for the front. So watch the top left corner. See, now I've got my shield mainly in the front, which I'm going to keep at for this Aurora. Um, another thing, if you do, uh, numpad 2, that'll put your shields to the rear. And then if you press numpad 5, that'll reset your shielding. So another really big thing I would suggest is learn to manipulate those on the fly. Uh, luckily with the AI that I have, look at that, and the, and the Aurora is dead. Which goes to show, you know, even though they are size 1s, um, if you've got a nice consistent hit ratio and you're on target and accurate, you'll win. So that's why I say go to Arena Commander, go to Vanduul Swarm, practice, 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 practice. So, uh, again, going over the a little bit of the shield mechanics, so I'm going to hold down the number pad, uh, or 8 on the number pad, and now I let go. Now my shield is all the way to the front. Now the thing about the beta, it does not have side shielding, so you really, really, really got to be careful about those side um, attacks. Front and back, you're good. So if I were to press number pad 5, now it'll equalize them. Where now, if I hold down number pad 2, it um, fortifies my rear shielding. So I'm going to equalize it one more time and uh, fly back to Alasar. Um, so, quick recap uh, you definitely want to try to keep all of the same weapons, uh, or at least weapons that have the same velocity and range. Uh, those numbers can be looked up. Thing is, though, since things are always in flux and are changing, you know, for 2.63, let's say Badgers and Sucker Punch, you know, once you get within a certain range or so, yeah, they got the same pips. But when 3.0 comes out, Sucker Punch might go slower and Badgers might go faster. You know, so you kind of have to play with the loadouts, and I would highly suggest using Rec uh, to rent the weapons from, I think it's Electronic Access. You can accrue Rec uh, a couple different ways. I believe you can get it through Star Marine. You can also get Rec uh, if you're a subscriber. So if you give 10 or 20 bucks to RSI uh, for the month, you get X amount of Rec. I don't remember the exact number. But if you, if you subscribe for the $20, you get a good amount. I think it's like 20 thou, something like that. Um, so, I mean, you get you get a lot of rack and a lot of chances to rent a whole bunch of stuff. Auto land. Automated landing activated. All right. So it does have it. I was just being dumb. Um, so, weapons. Um, another thing is practice. You definitely want to practice. Uh, nothing takes the place of good practice. Um, another thing that you want to do is your shielding. You want to remember to manipulate and pay attention to your shielding and power outputs. Power outputs, not so much as, again, I think that's going to be more of a 3.0 thing, but it doesn't hurt to have that in the back of your mind. Um, and maneuverability, maneuvering, uh, doing evasive maneuvers. Um, remember those Q and E keys, and remember control and space are your friends. Um, you know, they, you know what they say, the, the shortest point between two distances is a line. Well, that's also the easiest way to get shot the fuck up. Uh, if you're zipping around and if you're, you know, zigging, uh, zigzagging, going up and down and you're turning and making a cross section, you know, not in one place, again, that is going to severely up your chances of dodging or at least being hard to hit. Uh, take those ideas take those tips implement them and let me know how you do did you like uh this video did you like the addition uh bringing in the mustang so that way i could try to you know not alienate everybody i hope so 
Um, if you like this video, leave a like down below. Uh, leave a comment as well uh, if you want to see similar things like this. If you want to see different things, uh, let me know. Tell me, what do you want to see? Uh, I do have a couple of videos planned that are going to be coming up soon. Uh, no real ETA. My work has been really busy lately. Um, I don't know if I went over it, but I live in Massachusetts, and I actually had to go up to New York earlier today. And I was up there all day, and I was so exhausted. I still am. But because I love all you guys and because of all the crazy awesome support, I was like, no, you know what? I got to get on. I got to make a new video. Get it out for everybody. Everyone is so awesome. I can't let them down. So thank you very much for watching. Um, like I said, leave a like if you liked it. If you didn't, tell me why down in the comments. Uh, tell me what you want to see. And yeah. Um, like I say in almost every video, you know, if you do comment and I don't get back to you, sit tight. YouTube doesn't like to give me my notifications for some reason. Um, so just, just hang in there. I, I check my videos daily and go through all the comments to make sure that, you know, I'm not uh, let, leaving anybody out. So thank you very much once again. Uh, all you beautiful bastards have a wonderful day. Last but not least, this has been Will. Peace.